This is a series on C4 ember resistance. In the previous video, we've seen about uh, the structures in C programming. In this video, let's look at structure padding and the packed attribute in C programming. Well, uh, structure padding is a concept in C where the compiler inserts additional bytes between structure members to align them in memory so the compiler inserts additional bytes between structure members to align memory this padding ensures that each member starts at an address that adheres to the alignment requirement of the architecture so this word is very important the alignment requirement well padding is introduced to improve memory access efficiency so as accessing aligned memory location is generally faster what is memory alignment here so what does this mean say for example you have a 32-bit architecture for example that means each your memory or the the processor can access 32-bit at a time so you have let's say this is uh, one block is uh, I would say a 32 bit that means four bytes three four bytes so this is how the memory is for example and say when you define uh, an integer right so the integer is a four bytes so one two three four bytes and whenever you whenever the cpu accesses this data this data particular data so it will access these four bytes at a time so that is how the memory accessing happens so what happens is when let's say you assign an integer sorry when you assign a character so character is basically takes one byte what happens is you have a character a and the, what the compiler does is it pads the it uh, inserts three zeros basically to, to uh, fill the rest of the rest of the cells or the rest of the data so that it aligns with the four bytes because the, the CPU or the architecture access 32 bits that means four bytes at a time so that is what is padding means so let's see this with an example so here we have a, a program where we have defined a structure with different data types for example we have a character we have an integer and we have a double okay character uh, a is a character b is an integer and C is a double. So as we know that in C, size of a character is one byte, size of an integer is four bytes, size of a double is eight bytes. How does this align in memory? So let's let's explore that. So first, let's execute this program. So what we're trying to do is uh, we just create an example uh, a variable of the structure example, and we just print the addresses of each element of the structure and then we print the size here so let's uh, execute this let's compile this gcc then we have a structure padding.c file and we execute a.exe we can see that ideally if we consider a is of character one byte, then B is of four bytes, and it's eight bytes. Ideally, you should have eight plus four, 12 plus one, it's 13 bytes, right? But you can see that size of structure is 16 bytes. Why is that? You can see that the address of A is at this location, uh, 0061FF08. Address of B is actually at 0c address of c is at 
one zero. So you have to visualize this in memory. Let's just redraw this diagram and then understand. So I will erase this. So assume that you have an integer. So let's have uh, assume that this is a memory. Okay. So in this case, the address of A starts with 08, FF08. I'll go like this. Isn't that is in stack? So FF08, this is the memory, right? And the next address is 0C. That means 1, 2, 3. So this is 0, 09, this is A, and this is B. The next address is F, F, 0, C. The next is C, D, E, F, D, E, F, and then you have 1, 0. So F, F, 1, 0. So I hope this is a little clear. Okay, so what happens is you have a character of A of one byte. Okay, so ideally what we expect is this is where A sits in and then you have B should come here, right? But that's not the case. So here, the B will not come here. Sorry for that. B, will, B is going to sit here and C is going to sit here. And C is basically up to here because this is eight bytes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then uh, F, F, one, one. So this is for C, this is for B, and this is where the A sits. So you can see that the total size of this structure is 16 bytes. 16. So I hope this is clear. This is 16 bytes. So that's the reason we see that the size of the structure is printed with 16 bytes. I hope this is uh, clear. See, and this is how the memory is basically aligned with the structure padding. And you can see that this is A and everything is filled with zero and B is of eight bytes and C is of B. Uh, so B is of 4 bytes and C is 8 bytes. So that's how it works. Well, that's what I have explained here. And you can see the size of operator is used to determine size of the structure in bytes. Okay. And we see the output also. So in this example, the structure is 16 byte due to 4 byte padding inserted after A and B to align B and C respectively. So this is a four bytes alignment has happened between B, A and B. Between A and B, there is a four byte alignment. Okay. That is how it is. Well, the actual padding, this is very important. The actual padding and memory layout depends on the compiler and the target platform. So different compi compilers or architectures may produce different results. So you have, let's say, 64-bit architecture, for example. In that case, you can expect a different alignment of 8 bytes. And if it is a 16-byte, then you have a 2-byte alignment. So this is basically a compiler and an architecture-dependent feature. Well. Now that we understood what is structure padding, let's look at how do we avoid structure padding. Well, first we need to understand why the structure padding is necessary. Like as we see, it is necessary to improve the memory access efficiency. So that means uh, here the computer or the CPU access faster in terms of 
accessing the memory of that particular uh, variable if it is aligned uh, if it is aligned properly so it means it meets the alignment requirement of the target architecture well that's the major advantage but the disadvantage is that unnecessarily you will consume uh, memory so this means ideally in the previous example it should be 30, 13 bytes but now it has become 16 bytes and you can see that three bytes are wasted right three bytes are not used how do we tell the compiler not to add the padding so to avoid structure padding we can use the packed attribute while you define the structure so the uh, the way to do, the way to do it is like this well so the memory alignment is architecture dependent and the exact role can vary so to control the alignment manually you can use compiler specific directives or attributes for example in gcc you have a packed attribute <coughs> to pack the structure without any padding so you're you're packing up the memory you're packing the uh the section numbers without the uh, structure padding without adding extra zeros so to do it is you have underscore underscore attribute underscore underscore and then you have a packed attribute to tell the compiler please do not uh, pack this structure that's the understanding so let's see an example how it works we have written uh, another example here called structure padding pack.c file where you can see that for the same example we have introduced this attribute packed and I will the same example I'll execute here GCC structure padding with the pact uh, so again let me just execute and see what happens you can see that it is again printed with 16 bytes right so what is important is that we need to compile your program with mono ms bit field parameter so that's the uh, that's how you need to compile this so I just copy this so let's compile this oh sorry copy and then we paste it here well so we compiled with the mono ms bit field uh this is a compiler option then i execute this program and you can see magically you have 13 bytes it's taken for this structure right and you can actually see that the memory alignment got changed you see the address of a is 0f it's fine address of b is 10 address of c is 14 which is uh, basically between 0f and 10 is only one byte it took so let's let's see that let's just visualize that in the uh, in the memory layout right so you'll have something like this and like this four bytes four bytes so in this this is you can consider this as 32 bit aligned and you have the first variables which is in 0f this is a and you can see that the b starts here in this place this place is basically 0 f f 1 0 so it starts with 1 0 and then you have b we know that it is a, of integer which is a 4 so it will take 0 1 2 and 3 is an index and it starts with here like 0f and this place is mm, 
one zero. And you see, this is also one zero one 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 two. This is one three, and this is one four. This is one four, right? And this is where the C is starting. The C starts from here. Then you have uh, C zero, C one, C two, C three, C four, five, six, seven, and eight. B zero one two three and zero one two three four five six seven eight. So this is how the memory consumed. This is the memory that's consumed. Sorry. So I have. So this is like zero to seven. So this is from here to here is the thirteen bytes. So totally, it took. Oh, oh, oh. Totally, it took thirteen bytes. Well, that's the use of packed. So with this, what happens is you have an optimized memory as well. So keep in mind that using packed structures may lead to less efficient memory access. So as you know that CPU has to work extra harder to basically access this A individually and access this B with is not aligned to four bytes, access this C, which even this is like here, it will have an issue. And here also you'll have an issue of accessing memory faster. So the, the CPU has to work extra hard to access the memory. So that's that's why you'll have a less efficient memory access, but it will provide you with, uh, it, it will save three bytes of data, three bytes of yeah, data or memory. So, and it's usually better to let the compiler handle alignment for the optimal performance. However, in certain cases, manual control over alignment may be necessary, such as when interfacing with hardware or when optimizing for specific memory constraints. So in embedded systems, let's see, you know that the memory is a little bit scarce, so you will have to a uh, little bit concerned with the memory and you might use sometimes when you're working with the network programming in such places you would need it but generally generally in most of the cases we will not use packed because now the memory is available memory has become more cheaper and you have a lot of memory within general systems well that's how that's about the, the, the structure padding structure padding and the packed well, thanks for watching Subscribe to the channel for more projects, courses, tutorials, and tools.